Hello, this is Christian for Life Force Microscopy. Today uh, I'm starting a series of videos regarding geobiology or the detection of uh, geopathic energies. In this case, geopathic energies in nature. Well, uh, let me start by saying that geopathic energies are present everywhere. In this case, I'm just uh, visiting a local uh, reserve or park and sometimes geopathic energies are so, so strong that are actually capable of uh, damaging trees and even uh, killing them. As you can see in this uh, image or video, uh, we have a you know relatively tall eucalyptus or gum tree, as they are called in Australia. And as you can see, this tree, for no apparent reason, is completely dried up. The interesting thing is that. Uh, this is the only dead tree uh, in this area because, I mean, uh, to the right of that tree we can see healthy trees and also to the left of it. But for some reason, uh, this tree has completely dried up and dying well actually it's already dead it's all dried up and rotten as you can see from the bottom to the top this is a clear sign of a very strong geopathic energy present in the uh, vicinity of this tree for sure now, if we follow uh, this tree in the opposite direction and basically maintain in the same direction as uh, the tree that we have uh, behind us, I'll show you again. If we follow the same direction, we find another similar tree that is in uh, basically the same condition, all dried up and dead. Again, to the right of that dead tree, we have very healthy ones. To the left of it, the same thing. Everything looks healthy and green. But for some reason, this tree is also dead. Again, this is a very clear sign of a geopathic energy present in this very particular area that is affecting all the trees running in the same uh, direction. So we have one dead tree over here and we have the other one. So, as you can see, whenever we go outside, you know, like in this case, a park, a reserve, very beautiful, plenty of trees, green, everything is, I mean, perfect. And then all of a sudden we run into a dead tree, 
chances are that a geopathic line of force is running in this very particular direction and this energy is very negative and I could actually call it anti-life because it kills everything in its path well should I say path I already checked and this is not related to an underground river that might be running at this time uh, right now we are in February basically uh, three quarters of uh, you know into summer time which is very hot here in Australia at least in Melbourne down here we have a, a little creek a little river but you know there is no water at this time running through here so this geopathy is not related to to water now uh, I think uh, this tree over here is also uh, following the same fate as uh, the other two possibly it's getting already sick and uh, chances are that in a few months it will be all dried up and dead so this is a very powerful uh, geopathic zone killing everything in its path I already checked with my dowsing rods and the uh, geopathic line of force that is running through this very particular area is what we call in geobiology a geological fault geological faults are very toxic to everything human on top of them and what a geological fall basically means is just a fracture uh, beneath uh, the earth let me see if I can actually see like uh, I don't know cracks or something in this area okay so over here we have cracks For some reason, we have some more cracks over here. Let's see what else we can find. We got some rocks here. Okay, we have some more cracks here so like I was saying uh, one of the uh, ways to identify geological faults is basically looking for uh, cracks on the surface and here we have quite a few of them following the line of sight of uh, the dead trees so we have one over here and the other one is in the opposite direction and in between the trees we have all these uh, uh, cracks on the surface very interesting indeed so just imagine a house or an apartment in building located uh, right on top of this uh, 
crack, uh, then we would have a very serious problem uh, as far as health is concerned. Hello again my friends, this is Christian. So what I'm doing is I follow the geopathic line I had just uh, detected a few minutes ago uh, trying to keep on the same line as the uh, two dead trees so let me see if I can zoom in to one of them kind of difficult to see but it should be somewhere around here so as far as I can tell everything looks green and healthy to the sides of that geopathic line or zone so let's walk around a little and see if we can see anything strange out of place so right now I'm gonna use my I, my dowsing rods and see if we can detect the same geopathic line so here we go so the rods have just opened all the way to the side so as you can see there are you know a few houses located in the line of sight of those trees in other words this same geopathic line which is very toxic to trees to be able to actually kill them in a few months or years it's difficult to to say so the question is what would the effect be of this same geopathic line in these houses and in people living in them that's a very good question and let me tell you from from experience that if I could actually talk to the people who live in these houses especially this one right here chances are they're suffering from some kind of a uh, illness especially if uh, there are old people you know living in this house especially this house another thing that I know from experience is that cactus cactuses live very well in very toxic geopathic energies to humans but for some reason they love them and they actually thrive to to be you know very healthy indeed so the rods in this area opened up all the way to the sides because I'm walking right on top this geopathic line that I detected maybe uh, I don't know maybe 800 meters uh, from here in that direction that's where uh, the two dead trees are so I just followed the same line downstream and now I'm sort of uh, I'm located on top of a hill 
I've noticed that there's also uh, not a dead tree, but you can tell that you know this tree over here is also getting sick, and chances are that in a few months it will be all dried up and dead. You know, the rods are still opened up to the sides, which means that I'm walking on top of a geopathic toxic zone. So, if we're looking at a bedroom right here, if a person sleeps on top of a geopathic zone, I mean, you can imagine what's going to happen in a few months or years. That person will get sick of uh, something, I don't know, deadly, maybe even cancer. Again, the only way to confirm is to actually go to that house and talk to people. That would be the only way to to really, really know for sure. Yeah, very sick uh, tree. Chances are it's already dying. It's rotten all over the place.